In 1923, Leland and Elizabeth Davis welcomed their sixth child into the world, William Harry Davis. They lived on the Upper North Side of Minneapolis, and some people referred to the area as Hellhole, but as Harry says, we called it home. We didn't have a lot of money. We were all poor, I think you would, you would say, but we didn't realize how poor we were because we were all poor and we all had the same, the same things. He pursued athletics at the Phyllis Wheatley Settlement House, which had become his second home. It was a gathering place for the neighborhood kids where they could play ball and enjoy life without encountering the pain of racism, which was at times as trying in the Midwest as it was in the South. Harry got involved in coaching football and the boxing program at Phyllis Wheatley and became the most successful Golden Gloves boxing coach in the region, which in turn led to an invitation to serve on the U.S. Olympic Boxing Committee. He was a good mentor, a good example for the other children that were growing up after him, especially the people that he trained in boxing. He did a tremendous amount of working with us kids when we were kids at Phyllis Wheatley. And <laughs> We follow him just right down the line. Harry could do no wrong. In 1940, also at Phyllis Wheatley, Harry met Charlotte Napew, who had become his wife of more than 60 years. Harry and Charlotte prioritized home and family and had three children. In the mid-40s, Harry became involved with the NAACP, which inspired his lifelong dedication to civic responsibility and leadership. In the 60s, he became the founding chief executive of the Minneapolis Urban Coalition. Harry did everything in his power to make this a better community. He worked with everybody. It have to, doesn't have to be a color barrier there. He worked with everybody. A lot of people believed in Harry Davis. Just the, the name struck magic, you know. In 1969, Harry Davis's commitment to civic leadership compelled him to run for the Minneapolis School Board where he served for 20 years. This strong commitment also motivated him to run for mayor, and in 1971, he became the first black mayoral candidate in Minneapolis history. A pioneer in breaking down racial barriers, he led the way, establishing himself as one of the first black executives at a major Twin Cities corporation. He's a leader. He's a leader in the sense that you'll have a lot of people who follow him because of what he stands for and the way he accomplishes it. In the city, in the community, they would call on Harry to be the um, peacemaker. Art Naflin, Minneapolis mayor in the 60s, said Harry was willing to become a human bridge between black and white when this city really needed one. I shudder to think what might have happened if that bridge hadn't been there. Harry Davis wrote a book titled Overcoming, the autobiography of W. Harry Davis. Throughout his life, he's been a mentor, role model, an example for us all, demonstrating how to be a peacemaker, how to make a difference, how to succeed in adverse situations. For a man who overcame racism in education, religion, business, politics, and even sports, he's demonstrated you will succeed if you persevere. Junior Achievement of the Upper Midwest is proud to induct Harry Davis into the Business Hall of Fame.